Kurt Slosser from GeekWire. We're on the barge in the middle of Lake Union just off of Gasworks Park where they're setting up the display for tomorrow night's fireworks here in Seattle. The guys here on the boat have been working all day uh, wiring up the E-matches that'll serve as the ignition to send these things up into the sky. There's a lot going on. There's more than 10,000 pounds of explosives on the boat and oh, this one weighs about 20 pounds and it's called the stained glass pixie dust willow with multicolor pistol. So look for that tomorrow night. Uh, the show is 20 minutes, I th uh, right up 20 minutes, and it'll. we started wiring this morning. Uh, like we got on the barge about 8.30. We'll work today until five or six. But this year we're running five zones. You'll see f uh, five shells breaking in the sky at a time at some points. Um, so we're more, more zones. And then, uh, uh, I always try to come up with something new to do. So this year we got something called the lollipop, which is actually a circle. It'll, I'll put on a forklift, it'll hang out over the barge, and it'll actually do a circle, and you'll see see it whip around. So we got a couple of those, um, and then we just kind of got more extreme angles and some of the single shot items, the comets, on the mines. Yeah. So we have an E-match right here. It has a sends a small electrical signal. Has a little squib at the end that explodes. Sends a small spark to a quick match that's down here. Within a split second, fires this, this goes off, and it fires up, up in the air. Boom, and what do we got? So these are actually wired in, these little small yeah. um, terminals are wired into a wireless uh, trigger base. That uh, We have a wireless firing system that will come and send it off, and we wire them per number, and so it's all numbered and organized. And these will go off at different times from this particular zone? Correct, and they'll all be programmed into the system to do it at a certain specific time. Tell us how the, how the wireless network uh, is keyed and, and how you control that. Yeah, so we use a system called the Galaxis. Um, and so I, the controller talks to the receivers, um, or PF, PFEs is what they're called. It talks to them wirelessly, and the receivers can talk back to the controller. So like when, for example, when we do continuity, we'll actually go inside that uh, one module or receiver and it'll tell us you know, how many uh, shots are sp programmed into it, if there's something that's hooked up somewhere that's not supposed to be, if you have any open circuits. Um, it'll tell you the temperature, the humidity, uh, <laughs> about anything you want, about, you want to know about that thing, the power level. Um, it'll tell you anything you want to know, what mode it's in. And so we have 21 um, 100 shot or 21 modules on here. All right, you're going to have uh, many thousands of people tomorrow night watching this stuff go off. What do you have to say to that crowd that's out there in the park, all around, uh, watching your work? I uh, just wanted to say we work hard, so I hope you guys like it. Right on. Like you said, we've been working hard on it, and we hope to put on the best show for the Seattle and uh, surrounding areas. And that's our goal, just enjoyment on the 4th of July. Got it. So I noticed you have all your fingers. Yeah. How could this be any different than the guy at home who's got his lighter and then he's trying to run away from... Well, one, we ain't drinking. <laughs> and, uh, You're not. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, they might be in the park, but you know, it's... So let that be advice for you guys at home. No booze before you boom. Yeah. Have a safe and happy fourth. Tom, have a great show. Thank you. Thank you.